हेलो फ्रेंड्स हेयर इज द पार्ट टू ऑफ द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ सर्कल्स विच इज ए बेसिक कंसेप्ट फॉर डूइंग द चैप्टर ऑन सर्कल्स फॉर क्लास नाइन्थ एंड टेंथ स्टूडेंट्स सो आई हैव ऑलरेडी डन फाइव प्रॉपर्टीज इन प्रीवियस वीडियो एंड दीज आर फाइव मोर प्रॉपर्टीज विच विल बी हेल्पफुल इन सॉल्विंग ऑल प्रॉब्लम रिलेटेड टू सर्कल्स लेट्स सी द फर्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी ना इन द फर्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी आई एम taking a circle and i will draw a arc this is the rkb this is the rkb and this is the center of circle so i am taking one point in the major segment of this circle and i will join point a to o point a to b so this is the angle subtended by the rkb at the center of the circle and if you take ap and bp this is the angle subtended by this arc in the remaining part of the circle so the property states that the angle subtended by an arc at the center is double the angle subtended by it at any point in the remaining part of the circle so in this figure this angle aob which is subtended at the center will always be double of the angle abb which is subtended in the remaining part of the circle so this is very important property for solving questions related to these circles let's have the second property now again we have a circle and we take four points on its circumference a b c and d and join them in order ab bc cd and da now this quadrilateral which is formed inside this circle is known as a cyclic quadrilateral so this quadrilateral abcd is a cyclic quadrilateral now there are some properties of this cyclic quadrilateral which we need to know the first property is that the opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are always supplementary opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary that means and sum of angle a and angle c it will be 180 degree and sum of angle b and angle d will be 180 degree very important property for competitions as well you need to understand that what is a cyclic quadrilateral and what are the various properties associated with this now in the same cyclic quadrilateral if i produce one of the sides like suppose i am producing this side cg now this is the exterior angle of the cyclic quadrilateral so this exterior angle xda will always be equal to the interior opposite angle angle b so this is the third property i write it here the exterior angle of a cyclic quadrilateral is equal to the interior opposite angle so if this angle is 120 degree this angle is also 120 degree so opposite angles they are supplementary and exterior angle is always equal to the interior opposite angle so uh, another very important property of circles now come to some tangent properties now in a circle 
Suppose I draw, I take a point P outside the circle, I take it here, and I draw a secant PAB. So secant is a line which cuts the circle in, uh, uh, touches the circle at two points, and this is a tangent T. T is the point of contact. So PT is the tangent and PAB is the secant. I'll write it here for you. PT is the tangent and PAB is the secant. Now there is a very important property associated with one tangent and one secant. The square of the tangent is always equal to the distance of this point from the points of contact of the secant. So PA multiplied by PB. Another very important property for the competitions you need to uh, learn this property and practice questions based on this. And finally, in the fifth property, we have a circle and then we have a point P outside the circle from where we are drawing two secants. So this is a tangent, I will draw two secants. So PAB is one of the secants. And PCD is the other secant. So whenever we have two secants, then here we have PA into PB. Similar to this, we will have PA into PB here also. But in the RHS, we don't have a tangent here. So we need to repeat this property in the RHS. So PC into PD. So PA into PB will always be equal to PC into PD. So this is the fifth property which you must know before starting to solve questions based on circles. So friends you can take a screenshot of this, all five properties explained and written for you and then after this video we will get on with the questions based on this important chapter. Friends if you are liking these videos and feeling that they are beneficial for board exams then do share it with all those students who are appearing in class 10 boards this year and do not forget to subscribe the channel.